Welcome to CA Shiksha, Exploring New Heights of Learning. This is Shivani Arora and we'll, today we will start our new lecture 2 that is Logarithm Part 2. What we are going to learn in this lecture? How to calculate the characteristic and mentisa and how to solve the advanced problems of logarithms. Logarithms using base 10 are called common logarithms. In this earlier in our earlier lecture, we used the logarithms that is common logarithms. And logarithms using base E are called natural logarithms. If no base is given to any logarithm, we assume its base to be 10. For example, we have given log 10. Then we will assume its base to be 10 as no base can be given. So it, is, it can be written as log 10 to the base 10 which is equal to 1. Using a formula log a to the base a is equal to 1. Similarly, log 100 can be written as log 100 to the base 10 as no base was given. Now 100 can be written as 10 to the power 2. This power 2 comes in front of the logarithm which is 2 log 10 to the base 10. And this will be equal to 2 multiplied by 1 as log 10 to the base 10 will be equal to 1 and this is equal to 2. Now let's do some questions for practice. I ask you change the following into common logarithm base. Common logarithm means you have to convert the base into 10. Our first question is log 31 to the base 5 and you have to convert it into common logarithm base. Second is log 8 to the base 3 divided by log 16 to the base 9 multiplied by log 10 to the base 4. Let's do the first part. For solving these type of questions, we will always use our formula log x to the base y is equal to log x to the base 10 divided by log y to the base 10. Now the first part is log 31 to the base 5. It can be written as log 31 to the base 10 divided by log 5 to the base 10 using a formula which I explained earlier. Now second part is log 8 to the base 3 divided by log 16 to the base 9 multiplied by log 10 to the base 4. So now let's take each one by one. First is log 8 to the base 3. It can be written as log 8 to the base 10 divided by log 3 to the base 10. Now 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3. So this becomes log 2 to the power 3 with base 10 divided by log 3 to the base 10 which is equal to 3 log 2 to the base 10 divided by 3 log 3 to the base 10. Now log 16 to the base 9. It can be written as log 16 to the base 10 divided by log 9 to the base 10 which can be written as log 4 to the power 2 with base 10 divided by log 3 to the power 2 with base 10. 16 can also be written as 2 to the power 4 but why it's not so because this 2 will come in front and will cancel it. Let's see it becomes 2 log 4 to the base 10 divided by 2 log 3 to the base 10. So 2 will be cancelled and it will be log 4 to the base 10 divided by log 3 to the base 10. Third one is log 10 to the base 4. It can be written as log 10 to the base 10 divided by log 4 to the base 10. Now log 10 to the base 10 its value is 1 divided by log 4 to the base 10.
Now the whole question becomes log 8 to the base 3 divided by log 16 to the base 9 multiplied by log 10 to the base 4. It becomes now 3 log 2 to the base 10 divided by log 3 to the base 10 whole upon log 4 to the base 10 divided by log 3 to the base 10 multiplied by 1 upon log 4 to the base 10. This log 4 will be cancelled and now we will write it as 3 log 2 to the base 10 divided by log 3 to the base 10 multiplied by when divide becomes mul multiplication we have to do the reciprocal. So log 3 to the base 10 will come in the numerator. This log 3 to the base 10 will be cancelled with this and the answer will be 3 log 2 to the base 10. How simple? Now log 10 to the base 10 what is its value? You, will, you should remember it. It is equal to 1. Now 1 can be written as 1.00. So log 10 to the base 10 is equal to 1.00. This 1 before the decimal is called characteristic of log. And this value, this 00, 0 after decimal is called mantissa of a logarithm. So let's do Logarithm of a number consists of two parts. As we have seen, value before the decimal is called characteristic and value after the decimal is called mantissa. For calculating characteristic of a number, let's do some questions. I ask you, find the characteristic of log 20. So, for calculating the characteristic, you have to count the number of digits before the decimal. Here 2 and 0, 2 numbers. So you will subtract 1 from it and you will get it 1. So its characteristic is 1. Now log 3156, you have to find its characteristic. Count the digits 3, 1, 5, 6, 4. 4 minus 1, 3. So its characteristic will be 3. Log 31.56. Now what we will do about decimal value? You have just to see the digits before the decimal. How many digits are there before the decimal? 3 and 1, 2. So you will subtract 1 from it and you will get 1. So the characteristic is 1. Now log 0 0.3156. If there are no digits except 0 before the decimal, then you have to count the number of zeros after the decimal. Here the number of zeros after the decimal is 0. No 0. So there is no 0. 0 zeros. So you will add 1 into it and put the characteristic as minus. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 so the characteristic is minus 1. Let's do another. Log 0 0.03156. There, since there are no digits before the decimal point except 0. So you have to count the number of zeros after the decimal point. Number of zeros after the decimal point is 0. 1. 1 0. So you will add 1 into it and write it as minus. 1 plus 1, 2, that is minus 2. Got it? Now, for calculating the mantissa of a, any log, you have to see it from the log tables given at the end of your study material. For example, you have to find the mantissa of log 0 0.3156. Refer the log tables. Just see the value of 3, 1 in the 5 column, in the column 5 and add the mean difference of 6 into it and you will get it 4991. Now, if you have to find the mantissa of log 31.56, you will forget about the decimal point in case of calculating the mantissa. Decimal point is only relevant in case of calculating the characteristic. For, see, for calculating mantissa, you have to forget about the position of decimal. So here you will simply calculate, you will simply see the value of 5 
31 and 5 and add the mean difference of 6 and you will get it 4991 from the table. Similarly, log 0 0.3156. Forget about the decimal. See the value of 31 in the 5 column and add the mean difference of 6 and you will get it 4991. So, what we have seen that the decimal point is relevant only for calculating the characteristic. You have, it is no relevant, it is not relevant in calculating the Mentisa. Now, let's do a question. Find the value of log 5 if log 2 is equal to 0 0.3010. I'll ask you, I'll given you the value of log and you have to find the value of log 5. Second is 4 bar. What is this 4 bar? You remember we calculate the characteristic in negative value. So, this the characteristic of negative 3 or negative 4 can be writ also be written as 4 bar. Minus 4 can be also be written as 4 bar. So, this 4 bar 0.74628 plus 3.42367 and you have to find its value. Similarly, third and fourth bar. Let's do it one by one. Our first part was you have given the value of log 2 which is equal to 0 0.3010 and you have to find the value of log 5. Now, log 5 can also be written as log 10 divided by 2. Now, log 10 minus log 2 using our formula log A divided by B is equal to log A minus log B. That is subtraction in case of division. So, the value of log 10 as no base is given, you will assume its base to be 10. So, log 10 to the base 10 is equal to 1 and the value of log 2 is given minus 0 0.3010. So, you, you will subtract 0 0.3010 from 1 and you will get 0 0.6990. Second part was you have to do some addition of 4 bar plus it was 4 bar 0.74628. So, you will bifurcate the characteristic and Mendes and write it as 4 bar plus 0.74628 then it was 3.42367 and you will write it 3 plus 0.42367 now you have to do the addition of it so let's first do the addition of only characteristic points this is minus 4 and plus 3 and you will get minus 1 then plus and you will add this 0.74628 and 0.42367 and you will get 1.16995 now, this minus 1 and this plus 1 of 1 1.16995 will be cancelled and you will get the answer 0 0.16995. Now, third part is 2 log 5 to the base 10 plus log 8 to the base 10 minus 1 by 2 log 4 to the base 10. You have to find its value. Now, what we are doing, this power becomes, which is in front of log 5, will become the power of log 5. And this 1 by 2 will become the power of 4. So simple. Then log 5 square will be equal to log 25 and log 4 to the power 1 by 2 will be equal to log 2. Now log you since there are plus and minus signs so for plus you will put the multiplication sign and for minus you will put the division sign. So this becomes log 25 into 8 divided by 2 which is equal to log 25 into 8 into 1 by 2. Why this is 1 by 2? Because you convert the division into multiplication. So, the 2 will be will be 1 by 2. Then, And it will be equal to log 100 to the base 10 on simplifying. Then log 100 can be written as log 10 to the power 2. This power comes in the front and it will be 2 log 10 to the base 10. And log 10 to the base 10 is equal to 1. Then So, it is 2 into 1 that is 2. Now, let's do the fourth part. Our fourth part is log 1 minus then bracket 1 
then minus, then again bracket 1 minus x square to the power minus 1, then again power minus 1, then power minus 1 by 2. Don't get confused in this question. Just do it by simplifying this, then smaller bracket, then the larger one, then the larger one. So the smaller bracket here is 1 minus x square to the power minus 1. So we'll change the power into positive by doing its reciprocal. This will be log 1 minus 1 minus 1 upon 1 minus x square. Then taking the LCM, the LCM is 1 minus x square, it will be 1 minus x square minus 1. This one will be cancelled and it will be log 1 plus. Why it is plus? Because before the bracket there is negative sign and after the bracket there is negative sign. Though, so minus minus will become plus. So it will be 1 plus 1 minus x square to the power minus 1 by 2 upon x square. So, it will be taking the LCM as x square, it will be x log x square plus 1 minus x square to the power minus 1 by 2. This x square and x square will be cancelled, it will be log 1 divided by x square to the power minus 1 by 2. So, now it can be written as, since the power is negative, you have to change the power into positive by taking its reciprocal. It will be log x square to the power 1 by 2. And log x square to the power 1 by 2 will be log x. So, now you should do try questions 11 to 25 of exercise 1D of your study material. Thank you. This was end of lecture 2 logarithms part 2.